With Netflix earnings coming around the corner, we have another profit opportunity today to talk about earnings plays for Netflix. Even though the expected range is about 7%, do we need to be buy side the market, sell side the market? Do we need to be buying options, selling options? That's what we're gonna answer in today's video. I've been doing this for over five years, ladies and gentlemen, where I've been doing option plays on earnings, where you can take the most advantage for the least amount of time, right? We wanna to get to the big bang for our buck for the quickest amount of time. We're gonna be going over a safe, in the sense of we're managing risk options play in this video. We're gonna be talking about why we're playing this option this way for Netflix, what the expectations are, how we're using that to our advantage, and I'm gonna share with that option play with you guys so you guys can do it yourself and explain to you how you can increase or decrease the risk depending on your own risk tolerance and tailor it to yourself. So without further ado, let's go over what's going on with Netflix. Netflix has been selling off into its earnings. Well, that's problem number one for the bearish approach. Just because a stock has been selling off doesn't necessarily mean it's going to continue. If we simply just zoom out, right, we can see that there is a broader higher lows trend right now, along with we're above the 50 day moving average. So let's see, let's go through a checklist, right? Would I be bearish on the stock? Not even talking about earnings, right? Would I be bearish on the stock? Well, the stock has been recently going to a blue sky breakout. What is a blue sky breakout? It is essentially when a stock breaks above previous all-time highs. It continues to have that momentum to the upside. So looking at Netflix, right? Previous earnings right here, we did not move traditionally that much on that earnings day. If we go back to what that earnings day was from a close, the lowest was 2%, the highest was 2% on a closing basis. So Netflix really didn't do much on that earnings day, and that was a more anticipated or more volatile. We can even see, going back to the previous one, that Netflix basically came down 9%. That was a pretty bad earnings play, but also we had the subsequent expectation of 12% previously. So Netflix has a set range, right? But we can see that on open, we weren't past a 7% range that is expected now. So again, you guys are going to be seeing this with two hours left till market uh, close. That is when you have to set the options for you. So all you that watched this video when it came out, congratulations, you got this. If you guys missed it, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. See with bell notifications on so you know when these option plays come out because I come out with them pretty much two hours before that particular stock closes. We're going to have them for Apple, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, all the big ones next week and the subsequent after. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. So enough rambling about what it is, right? What's the game plan for Netflix? Simply, we're going to be looking at the expectations for Netflix, and that we can simply look is 30 to 1. This was 29 to 2. They revised their higher expectations. I did caution on Bank of America that because it was so one sided that there was concern. However, with tech stocks being how volatile they are in the sense of they just go in one direction with the expectations, Netflix definitely looks to be a strong company. And again, above the 50 day moving average, that's check mark number one for being bullish. What would be the bad scenario? Let's play the bad scenario out. Well, I'm just looking at the expected move of what the options are pricing in. They're pricing in a seven and a half percent move to the downside and a seven and a half move to the upside. Again, this implied volatility is gonna expand as we go into tomorrow. So that move expectation is gonna get even larger, right? It's gonna be expanding, but you regardless of what it is, we can simply look and we'll get into that and I'll show you exactly how you can do that on this particular brokerage that I use, which is Tasty Trade. but I'm sure we can also look at your own brokerage. You don't have to necessarily use it to understand how to do it. We're just simply gonna look at Delta. And if you don't know what Delta is, I have a video, link in the description below explaining what option Greeks are, and then that will give you a primer for how to play options along with option strats covered in that video. And that option strategy is gonna be a vertical call uh, put spread that we're gonna be talking about today. Again, if you guys don't know what that is, check that video, link in the description below. So going back to our check mark, we can simply see Netflix above the 50, check mark number one. What is strike number one though, right? We wanna talk about bullish and bearish. We're below the nine day, but we've been chopping around that nine day. So it's not necessarily a valid. It is a yellow flag, right? So we got a green flag and a yellow flag. We don't have a red flag yet. What would be the bad scenario for Netflix? Well, we get another crazy one of those rip your face off days. Again, first support would probably be that 670 area that uh, 650 is what is currently being priced in. However, that 200 is hard support. Now, this is why I like verticals, especially on earnings day, because when you're 
last hour when you roll them if they're in the money you're rolling it to a, a point where the implied volatility is shrinking and it's kind of evened out and also theta is in your favor so really there's no risk in the sense of you just have to hold that collateral aside and that's why we pick appropriately sized positioning for netflix and let's say that 200 comes to fruition to uh, 652 in a single day right because this option play is going to be a friday expiry uh, we would have to move approximately 10 percent. yes that is historically able to happen by netflix and subsequently that position would go in the money completely but the real question is do you expect that every analyst is going to be wrong the market has such it could happen right it could have horrible horrendous bad earnings but we're not really seeing that with these other big cap stocks we're not really seeing that tsmc is going to be an excellent excellent um temperature gauge right so make sure you guys check out tsmc and how they're reacting right there's their chips so they're going to be reacting and that's going to influence the mentality of netflix but let's dive into the options play for this particular stock so here we basically have a netflix options for october 18th the reason that i basically said that it's going to be very very difficult to understand how big of a move it is just looking at this as you see why i put it on the chart so 650 is what they're pricing in to be the expected move. You can simply look at what the expected move is of 20 delta. 20 delta is the standard expected move going into earnings play. So right now they're expecting a 20 delta um, at currently staying at 650. We have to see how that price is in and changes over time and that'll give you the probability. So we wanna play bullish. We do not necessarily wanna play bearish because for several reasons. Jumping back to the chart real quick to explain those, uh, Netflix blue sky breakout rotation above 735 will be fuel to the upside. That means there's only a slight margin of two and a half percent to buffer that move, which can be raked through very, very easily. So going back to this, we do not want to be playing the, uh, the bull side of the market, especially because of pricing in the premium is not that crazy, right? They're not, they're not necessarily pricing in that higher probabilities. The expected move is closer to the one stand deviation. So the market is actually pricing in that the move is going to be bullish and they're not necessarily pricing in the bearish side. That means we're not gonna get as much premium, but we can play a safer bet. So 640 is right at that one standard deviation. And we can sell that option. And then let's say you, you don't have a big account, right? But you can, Netflix, it's a bigger cap stock, so you're not gonna get anything subsequently really, really cheap, unless you're kind of playing in the, uh, in the money here, which the cheapest you're gonna get is like $200 collateral, making it $9. If you want to do that, you can, right? You're, you're taking on more risk if you do that. But I personally like setting it up to be at the one standard deviation and then looking how much collateral I want to put. Personally, I'm like a thousand dollars into Netflix. I like depending on what the, the option spreads are, what the implied volatility is, what the open interest is. And I'm going to be looking at, okay, we're looking at 15 Delta. That's pretty good option pricing, especially for a VIX contraction. I'm only looking to make 50% of this move because I want to be in and out of market. I want to scalp this real quick because I don't want it to give the opportunity to run me over. And in those first five, 10 minutes, you see a massive contraction in implied volatility. And we also see a lot of people selling the 650. So we could even go up to 650 and do like a 650, 640 play, $200 versus $800 collateral. And we're going to be looking to collect $100 on this option play we got a good open interest and good volume for this when it's transacting that's more of the riskier side but let's say we go back to the standard 640 and let's say 635 right you're you don't got a big account that means you're gonna collect $50 for $400 collateral for essentially two minutes of work so that's pretty good in my opinion and also you can roll if you want a little more protection you can make the spread wider again one the same basically doubling is doubling the collateral once you get out here and you could uh, stretch it a bit further 640 to 625 630 would be an excellent range remember that uh, two, a 200 day moving average is sitting at roughly uh, the 625 a dollar mark so let's go back and play around a very safe option play for that 
So going back to this, we can clearly see that we got a nice pricing around that 640 number. 640, 630, the uh, excellent options for anyone that really wants to play a more conservative. 635, 630, uh, 640, really, really conservative. And remember that 625 number, if you're playing for maximum basically value, you could do, if you have the collateral in the account, you could do a $220 uh, option with uh, $1,280 collateral. Personally, if I'm gonna put up that much collateral, I'm gonna do something closer to like a 650, 640 play because I wanna get that for a little bit less collateral. I'm putting more risk out there, but I do enjoy those uh, right at the edge of that option play. And again, I can keep roll this option. That's the beauty of a credit spread. You can then roll that same option, right? We're getting 650, 640 at $197. Let's just roll it to the October 25th so you can see what that same pricing is gonna be. $218 just off of the Delta comparison of the Theta. So you're gonna be rolling it for a credit regardless and letting that time Oh, do its thing even if let's say november 15 right let's say we just threw it out for a significant period of time 240 so whichever way you play it and you do expect netflix to have this catastrophic uh, event right we're not really seeing this catastrophic event play out against us if it does we can play defensive we can keep rolling it and we're not really required to put up more collateral for the transaction and also you can sell the call side of like an iron condor piece in order to absorb some of that collateral absorb some of that block if premium along with not increasing your collateral so there's different ways you can defend that position so again if i was to pick which one i wanted i could even split the difference right we could uh, go around the 645 635 187 dollars profit versus 813 but again i really like that 650 640 um, play it's a ten dollar spread so you're in this nice region eight hundred dollars collateral again and we've shown that it has high liquidity and other options and it's around those round numbers so when you roll it you're able to get those option pricing pretty consistently that's why i really like those whole numbers so with that guys Thank you so much for watching. Hope you really enjoyed this Netflix earnings play. I will also have a video of the Weekend Deep Dive queued up over here so you guys can know exactly what's going on in the markets, kind of know what the sentiment is because it's been a lot of really chop. We're gonna be live streaming tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern, so make sure you guys check that out and have bell notifications enabled for that. So thank you again so much for watching. Hope you have a profitable trading day with Netflix and I'll see you in the live stream.